Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we will see how to capture and monitor the user's screen without their consent. This can be helpful to increase the productivity of the organization and user can be warned if they do some unwanted stuff on the organization's computer. So let's go to the server and see how we can configure it. So right now we are on our server and if we see our Active Directory users and computer, we have this sales OU and we have two users inside it, Mickey and Alex. We want to remotely capture the user's screen like what they are doing on their computer without knowing them. So for example, we have two users here. So let me close this and open the server manager and go to the group policy management. Here I will expand the domain name and here we have OU. You can create that policy for any of the OU, but suppose that our sales team has plenty of users and we want to monitor their screen. For that reason, I am just applying the policy on the sales OU. Just do a right click, create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Let's name the GPO as screen monitoring. So I will click on OK. So here you can see the screen monitoring GPO has been created. Now we have to edit this. I will click on edit here in the computer configuration, expand the policies, administrative templates, windows component. And in the windows component, we have to search for the remote desktop service. Here it is expand it, And now we will expand the remote desktop session host. And here we have the connection. So in the connection from the right side pane, you can see the state is not configured. We have to configure this one set rule for remote control of remote desktop service user session. I will double click on this. I will enable the rule. And right now here is no remote control allowed. So what we can do, we can select full control without user permission. If we set this here, you can see full control without user permission allows the administrator to interact with session without the user consent. We want to silently monitor the user's screen. So I'm selecting this option and I will click on apply, click on OK. So this is done for the computer. Same way we have to do it for the user account as well. For the user configuration, we will go to the policies, administrative templates, windows component. And again in the windows component, we will go to the remote desktop services remote desktop session host and in the connection we have this this is also not configured so we will just double click here enable the rule and here we will also set the option full control without users permission click on apply click on ok so let me close this and now let's try to update the policy so i'm running gp update slash force it is updated let's run the same command on the client machine as well this is our client machine and I'm running the same command on this machine as well. GP update slash force. So the policy has been updated now. Now, if we want to access the computer remotely, we can run this command let mstsc shadow. This is an ID slash V the PC name and no consent prompt. When you type this, there will be no prompt to the user's screen. And if we see on our client right now, you can see the user Mickey is logged in there. You can see here and how we can uh, identify like uh, the ID. We have to find the ID. We can run this command let Quinsta server and the IP name of the computer you want to take the access of. Once I enter here, we have a active session with the Mickey and the ID is two. So if I run this command let MSTSC shadow two, this is the ID slash V PC zero one. Here you can see it is prompting for the consent like administrator is requesting you to view your session remotely. Do you accept the request? User might click on no or he may be aware of that like someone is monitoring him. He can click on no, but we want the no notification should be sent to the user about the controlling the remote screen. Therefore, we want to monitor the screen without the user consent. So we will run this command let with no consent prompt. So if I hit enter, you can see the screen has been captured automatically and there is no prompt on the user's screen. This is a user screen and there is no prompt. You can see the session. You can monitor what the user is doing on his screen. By this way, you can monitor and record the session, whatever the user is doing on the screen. I hope you can also capture the screen of your user in case it is needed. I hope the video was useful. Let's meet in a next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, 
don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.